Hey y'all, welcome back. Going to be talking today about some of these items that will be leaving my collection here in the next week, or at least hopefully they will. And a lot of these came from either leftovers from the Amazon black boxes, uh, buying different cases. Some of them are duplicates that I've had for a while where I thought I might do some customs and didn't. And uh, of course, more recently, a lot of these came from the Dollar General store trying to get enough cars to get some of the melon Porsches. And especially when they had the buy one, get one, picked up quite a few there. Uh, so not only did that help me get the melon Porsches, but it's hopefully going to help me offset some of the cost or at least uh, help me to trade for something else cool that I want. So uh, as we're going through, guys, if you don't mind, if you see something that you like, hit that like button. And I'm going to start over here with some things that I'm kind of on the fence about. So start out with this M2 Blazer series here or Blazer set, I should say. Really good looking set, some nice castings in there. Uh, kind of hard to get when they came out, and I actually found two of them at Walmart, full set with sleeve. No chases, but uh, I am kind of getting out of the M2s. Their quality control is really lacking. Um, of course, I've stated that in several videos. And the way they're releasing castings right now, I'm just having a hard time finding things that I actually want to add to my collection. So I think it's just kind of time. I'm kind of getting to where I'm just going to do basically only Hot Wheels and Matchbox. Maybe the occasional other piece. Uh, FedEx working rigs just here because I needed a place to park it. Kind of move on to this racing circuit set. Uh, I believe this is what they call premium assortment. Bought several of these when they came out. It's a really nice set. They were actually hard to get when they came out too. And uh, kept this set in particular because I thought I might do some wheel swaps with it. But the more I thought about it, I'm like, you know, I'm not super crazy about these cars right here. I mean, they're nice, but they're just not really in my wheelhouse. And to be quite honest with you, the 911 really isn't either. I mean, I grew up liking that car, but it's still, um, you know, not one of my favorites that I just have to buy everyone they have and keep around. I am into Mustangs, though, so I do like that one, and I, I would like to do a wheel swap on one of those, so we'll see. Of course, I have this set here. Th thought about doing a video on it. You see these, this is the Nightburner set that we did a video on not long ago. Got the RLC Bronco that's getting ready to go back into storage for a while. 300 SL here, I'm just not sure what I'm going to do with it yet. Not getting rid of it though. Uh, this stuff right here is kind of interesting. Uh, I don't really know how to explain this, but kind of had an uh, interaction with some people that uh, kind of didn't know what they were talking about in a group, uh, I'm going to say a month or so ago. And there was a person that was involved in that, uh, kind of really a bystander in a way, but either way, they uh, really liked some of the things that they said and how they handled themselves and uh, just seemed like a really cool person. So I wanted to offer them uh, a gift, basically just for being cool and uh, let them know I appreciated the way that they acted. So they uh, are into M2s, into Volkswagens, and I thought they might enjoy these two pieces right here. I also like old trucks, so I had a Willis and, of course, this Combi and this Chase uh, Volkswagen Beetle. So thought that might be some nice stuff for them. Uh, glad to do that for somebody for being cool. And uh, guys, be nice to each other. It's uh, it's good to be good to each other, right? Of course, we go down here. We have this Supernova. If you watch the review of this uh, car, I said it with me getting rid of it anytime soon, and I really don't plan on it. Of course, you never can tell. I might get a wild hair, but... Just kind of trying to figure out if I want to do anything else with it before I put it in storage. Have here Mercedes-Benz 300 SL with an error. No paint on the front wheel. Pretty cool find. I was kind of happy to find that. I don't really collect errors or I'd probably be happy to have that. And to be honest with you, I, I, I kind of wish that all the wheels were black because it, it, it kind of looks good. It pops a little bit more, I think. And this Ferrari P4 that I picked up at a flea market type deal uh, a few months ago. Pretty cool looking car there. Uh, just not my thing. Have three of the Honda Civic Chases in this set. And I was really surprised at that. I ended up with uh, these extra ones. I kind of wonder if people are finding the number two and getting it mixed up and thinking that's the Civic. Because I've only found a couple of the number two cars, which I like it too. Uh, and I found no none of the number ones, which is odd. Normally, I find at least a couple of sets of all these, but never did find a number one in that set. Of course, the distribution of those around here is getting a little bit odd, so I don't know. Guys, if you've seen some other stuff here, you've probably seen that I picked up a whole bunch of surf crates. I'm telling you, our Dollar Generals have been just 
inundated with this car. And then on top of that, um, my Walmart ended up getting three huge dump bins and there must have been eight B cases in there. So all kinds of B cases around here. I've probably picked up maybe half of what I've seen of these. Maybe not quite. And it's even to the point where there's a store that I actually went to today. I went uh, last week and saw I'd already got most of these. They had a treasure hunt and some other cars on the front pegs. And I was like, I'm going to leave those for somebody. I'll come back and get them later if uh, I need some extras for the promotion. Sure enough, I did. So I stopped back by today and every single car is still there. They've sold no Hot Wheels, uh, not even the treasure hunt. So that's kind of a problem with some of the stores around here sometimes. Uh, of course, we have the you know same problem as they get picked through if you're not careful. But some of them don't get picked through at all. And that can be a problem as well because you get no new stock unless you're the one buying it out. So... Well, let's see here. Honda Civic. What is this? The EF. Yes, uh, pretty interesting casting. Uh, kind of been fun to see what the value's done on this. I thought it was going to hit harder than it did, and then it just kind of fizzled a little bit. And I know it's went up in value, but it's just not been as much of a hit as I thought it would be. Cool Combi. Same with them, really. The Zamac version was pretty hot, but the uh, regular Cool Combi's just kind of been meh. Not a lot of interest in it. These black S15s, I had bought several of those. Thought I might do some customs with them. Yeah, it ain't happened. Probably not going to happen. So, uh, Plus, I do have a couple extras, so I can pop one open uh, if I need to. Coupe clip, same thing. Thought I might do some custom keychains. Never got around to it. Probably won't. And I uh, even have a couple of these left over from, I think, last year. Of course, we have some JDM stuff here. Uh, and you know, part of the reason I did this video, I noticed a lot of y'all really liked, um, when I went shopping at DG before they restocked around here, some of the stuff that I picked up, a lot of y'all seem to be pretty, uh, happy with, so, eh, it's kind of in the same vein. And some of these are, uh, like I said, a lot of these are things that I've picked up that were older at DG, that they still had, even, uh, even the stores that restocked had some cool old stuff, so. Uh, let's see, I think that's about it for this. We're kind of going into the fantasy castings here. Nothing really else to note on that. Got this flying custom set. and I do, I like this set, uh, but I think I'm going to get away from flying customs. And to be honest with you, uh, for the most part, I know these aren't really the premium assortment, but basically the same thing. And, you know, kind of a higher price point, a little more detailed or a little bit different uh, kind of theme. And I just, uh, I haven't liked uh, some of the other sets of the Flying Customs. Plus, uh, you know, there's uh, there's a lot of good main lines out there. So I think I'm just going to stick to that when it comes to cars like these, unless it's just something I really, really like. And, uh, you know, all the cars are kind of a banger. I will say all this was a set. The Vega did not come with this set. I just kind of have a thing for Vegas sometimes and ended up doing that on a uh, trade, I think. So here we have some Lucy's, probably going to give those away. Or I have been thinking about maybe doing some mystery boxes. Uh, so that may be something I add into those every once in a while. Have this motor show set here. Pretty good looking set. We did a video on not long ago. I think it was a short. Uh, this Renault here is by far my favorite out of this set. I think they did a really good job with that casting. That flat white's pretty cool. Uh, Jaguar looks good too. Not super crazy about the purple on this car, uh, but definitely did a decent job with the casting. Uh, a little bit disappointed in the Viper and the Lamborghini here. Uh, I've got a Masto from like the 90s that really kind of outperforms this car. The only real drawback is those uh, old wheels. Uh, the wheels just aren't quite as good, but the casting, the body itself looks really good. And this one, you know, I can see why people like this. Uh, but just the way they did the casting, there's kind of a lot of slop here. A lot of slag, some lines not clean, some of the paint. I just really think they could have done just a little bit better job of that and made this a super nice looking car. But, you know, it is what it is. And at the end of the day, I know it's a little bit more than a dollar now, but I'm going to say, you know, they're still dollar cars. So what do you expect? Let's see what else we have here. Picked up a few of these on clearance a while back at Hobby Lobby. And uh, kept a couple. We're going to be putting them together. Maybe keep one. But uh, just kind of hated not to pick them up. Yeah, but we'll see. I kind of thought I might be able to trade that for something. And eh, be interested to see what we can actually do with it. 
Johnny Lightning and Greenlight, kind of in the same vein as M2 for me. I don't think the quality control is quite as bad, but I'm just going to kind of get away from them. Not really piquing my interest as much these days. And the Chevelle. Now, this one's pretty cool, this Pinto. I made a point to pick it up. It just doesn't really fit anywhere into my collection. I guess I could open it up, but just look at the drag slicks on that. Just a really neat thing. Not something you'd expect to see. Pretty cool wheel choice with that. Paint scheme, all that. I did like that one. Originally got this because it kind of looks like my C10. I've got a 68 C10 that's uh, this color here. And so, I don't know. I thought at first I might be able to cut that down and make a pickup out of it, but... The more I looked at it, I don't think I'm going to be able to do it to make it look right. I'm not that great with custom stuff anyway, so eh, I don't know. We'll see. I had a couple of these, including the chase piece. Let one of my buddies have that that's really into old Ford trucks. Uh, again, just uh, I like the casting. Just, eh, I'm just, you know, kind of just going to go to where I'm sticking with Hot Wheels and Matchbox for the most part. I have a 124 scale Jada Mystery Machine with Shaggy and Scooby-Doo. <laughs> Raggy. Here's something different you probably uh, weren't expecting. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, got this game here basically for the exclusive bone shaker that came with it. Uh, I'm not going to lie and say that, you know, like this is the way it came packaged. Uh, but I, I just wanted the bone shaker. I would keep the game if I had a Xbox Series X, but I don't. So, you know, this comes in a really nice metal package. It's got a car. It's a cool game. So hopefully somebody can enjoy that. Monster Jam Chase here. Pretty cool. Had a couple of those, opened a couple already. Got some M2 Mustangs here, not bad. This was a pretty nice one, but again, just doesn't really fit in anywhere. Um, overall, probably one of my more favored uh, haulers, though. Have a couple of the Malian Sons, Corvette, and I think our last piece that we'll look at here is this uh, Camaro Chase piece that I have somehow not got rid of yet. Not that I've really been trying, but figured it would, there'd be a little bit more interest in that than there has been so guys appreciate y'all watching so far like i said if you see anything that you like give us a like probably going to be doing um maybe a little bit before i do this type of video again but definitely going to be going through some of my totes uh picking some maybe top fives out of some different sets things like that may just pull everything out of the totes and see what we got here so if that's something you're interested in give us a subscribe do all kinds of different videos here. If you have a video idea, something you'd like to see, if there's something in this video you'd like to see more of, hey, let me know in the comments and I'll uh, you know try to make it happen. Appreciate you guys. Hope everybody has a good week and happy hunting, y'all.